Good evening. They are the words that any parent would want to hear about their daughter. She is such a remarkable little girl. For a girl named Jazz, the word remarkable doesn't begin to cover it. At just 11 years old, she has taken what most children and their families would regard as a terrible secret and brought it smashing into the open. She is the brave and beautiful new face of a child born in the wrong body. Describe jazz to us. Vibrant, happy, full of life, self-confident, beautiful, glowing. Feminine? So feminine. She wears pink cleats on the soccer field. Do you like my new bra? And padded bras. She not only dreams of mermaids, she swims like one. If you didn't know it, would you believe this 11-year-old girl was biologically a boy? Let's get this straight, Jazz. Are you a boy or a girl? I am definitely a girl. Like, that's all I consider myself as. I'm sorry, I know I never do anything with my hair, but... Jazz is transgender, a boy living as a girl. I have a girl brain and boy body. Hi. When we first met Jazz in 2007, she was only six years old and one of the youngest documented cases of an early transition from male to female. We'll say things like, God made you special, because there aren't very many little girls out there that have a penis. At age five, her parents, Jeanette and Greg, made an extraordinary decision. They allowed Jazz to openly identify in the opposite gender, because they and their doctor were convinced this was not a phase, but a condition now called gender dysphoria. A phase is called a phase because it is just that. It ends, and this is not ending. This is just getting stronger. As difficult as it is for people to understand, you only had to walk into Jazz's bedroom, as I did. Oh, how pretty. To know this was not a passing fad. It was filled with girly things, dresses and dolls. But it was a picture she drew that made Jazz's world crystal clear. Tell me about this picture. Why is the little girl crying? Because she wants to wear the dress to school. And Mummy won't let her? Yeah. But now, does Mummy let the little girl wear a dress? Mm-hmm. Is the little girl you? Mm. Five years later, Jazz is still Jazz. <laughs> Has Jazz shown any desire to change and go back to being a boy? Nope. Never. Today, Jazz's bedroom is lined with photos from cheerleading and girls' soccer. She draws and sews carefully seaming together her own mermaid outfits. It's like, ooh. <laughs> the motion makes you feel like you're an actual mermaid. In fact, many young male to female trans kids are obsessed with mermaids. I believe it's because of the ambiguous genitalia. There's nothing below the waist but a tail. And how appealing is that for somebody who doesn't like what's down there? No one knows why thousands of children like Jazz are transgender. There are only theories. Mom, is that a mermaid? Despite growing awareness, many still face unthinkable obstacles from a world that sees them as freaks of nature. Do people treat you differently when they know you're transgender? Yes, they do. They don't understand what the concept means, and they think that I'm weird and that I shouldn't have the same rights as them just because of what's between my legs. You know that there are people who think, you could have prevented it. Why did you allow it to happen? Yeah, there's people who definitely think that. And what do you say? I don't really care what they think. Jazz is fortunate. Her parents and three siblings accept her, and as much as they can, keep her safe, which is why they asked us not to use their last name or location. I think the family is very supportive of Jazz. We've tried to make things as normal and ordinary American family as we can. The older twins are always looking out for Jazz. Ari, the older sister, and her friends hang out with Jazz. They treat Jazz like a little sister. What do you explain to people about your sister? I tell people that it's um, a disorder and that it wasn't, it's not by choice. How do you feel, Jazz, when your sister says it's a disorder? Um, personally, I don't like that word that 
um, that much. I'd prefer special or unique, because that's what I think being transgender is. But others have different words to describe jazz, hateful words, as they discovered after posting this video on YouTube. Hi, I'm Jazz. I'm 11 years old. I was born a boy, but I live as a girl. Sharing Jazz's story has come at a price. Are you ever worried about your safety? I mean, does anybody threaten you? Yeah, um, on the YouTube video, some people who are less understanding actually say very nasty and rude comments. It, it definitely hurts to hear them say that they would want to kill me or something like that. They can't wrap their mind around the idea of a transgender kid. And I want to tell everybody they're wrong and show them jazz, because when people meet her, they start to get it. One, go. <laughs> jazz has a handful of girlfriends. They've all started middle school, a challenging and precarious time, but especially for a transgender tween. She's enrolled in school as a girl, thanks to her parents' lobbying, and her passport even shows her as female. The faculty and some students know about her special situation. She uses the girls' bathroom and even plays on the girls' soccer team. You love to play soccer. Yeah. And you're pretty good at it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but at the age of eight, she was banned from girls' soccer by league officials. What do you say to people who say, well, you know, she's biologically a boy, therefore she's stronger and she shouldn't be on that team? I do not agree with them because I am like one of the smallest people on my team compared to the other girls. They're all very tall and more masculine and I'm sort of smaller, but I am quicker. <laughs> Jazz fought back and after a two and a half year legal battle, won the right to play as a girl. An unprecedented victory that opened the door for all transgender kids. Jazz is clearly making a difference and embracing the spotlight, advocating for transgender rights, receiving awards, hosing on the red carpet. It's so great to meet you. Meeting stars like Deborah Messing and riding in New York's Gay Pride Parade. She's a wonderful spokesperson for trans kids because she's a happy transgender kid, and those two words are never in the same sentence. Happy but perplexed by her latest new challenge. You are getting to the age, Jazz, when girls and boys date. Are you attracted to girls or to boys? I'm attracted to boys. Are you afraid that you might not have dates with boys? I am a little bit, but if any of the boys decline me because of my situation, then I just know they're not right for me at all.